kids, my name is Ruth and I'm glad that you are watching the junior lesson now. Before you continue watching, I want you to have three things ready with you right now. First, your Bible. Second, your worksheet. And third, a pencil or pen to fill out your worksheet. Okay, if you haven't have your stuff ready with you, you can pause this video right now and go get your stuff.
this is our room. And mommy, we can decide what we want to do with our room. We don't want you to tell us what to do. Kids, they did not want their mommy to tell them what to do. They did not want to listen to their mommy. Isn't this bad? In the end, their mommy punished them. And all of them cannot go to the fun fair for a year. And all of them need to hold their ears and stand for an hour. And they had to spend the whole day cleaning up their room. The end. The Bible also tells us that our ancestors also did something similar to Charlie and his siblings. They worked together to go against an authority. There is nothing wrong about being united, but it is wrong when they decided to unite to sin against God. Last week, we heard the story of Noah and how God judged the evil people by the flood and saved Noah and his family. Now, just like when mommy gave Charlie and his siblings the task to move, so after the flood, God also gave Noah and his family a task to do. What is that task? Question 1 in the worksheet. Let's look at Genesis chapter 9 verse 1 in your Bible. Let's turn to Genesis 9 verse 1. Verse 1. God said to Noah and his sons, I am giving you my blessing. Have a lot of children and grandchildren, so people will live everywhere on this earth. So God caused them to have lots and lots of children and grandchildren, so that there will be more people to live everywhere on earth. God wants them to tell everyone all over the world that He is the great God. So that everyone in all places will know God's greatness. So they had children, and their children had children, and those children had more children. So they did have lots of children and grandchildren. There's a lot of people. Question 3. What's one thing that they have in common? In Genesis 11, Genesis chapter 11, verse 1. Let's turn our Bibles to there. Chapter 11, verse 1. At first, everyone spoke the same language. So, we see that everyone spoke the same language. And they did have lots of children and grandchildren. But, instead of listening to God to live everywhere on the earth, they had another plan, just like Charlie and his siblings had a different plan. So, what did they do? Question 4. Let's look at Genesis chapter 11, verse 3 to 4. They say, let's build a city with a tower that reaches to the sky. We'll use hard bricks and tar instead of stone and mortar. We'll become famous and we won't be scattered all over the world. So their plan is to stay together to and build a tall tower that reaches the heaven so that they will become famous. Instead of telling people about God's greatness, they say, we don't need God, we want to be great. Isn't that sinful? This is what they did. They disobeyed God and built all power so that everyone can see. Kids, do you see any power here? No? What about here? Yes, this tower here is so tall and obvious, how can anyone not see this? So that 
is the reason why they made the whole tower to the So that when everyone sees that tall tower that they have built, they will say, Wow, look at the tall tower. Those people who built that tower was so great, so strong. You see, by building that tall tower, they can see, look how great we are. of listening to God to go everywhere on earth to tell about God is the greatest they say we don't want to listen to God we want to stay and do what we want Kids, isn't that simple? so from day to night all the people united they work together to sin against God by building that tall tower it's not just one person going against God. It's not just two people, not three or not four. But all of them, all of them are working together to go against God. They are just like child and siblings working together to disobey their God. All men unite to go against God. Now kids, when they say, look how great our tower is, look how great we are, we don't need God. Do you think they can defeat God? Look at question 6. No. God saw what they did. God said, hmm, what is this tiny little tower? It is so far and tiny. Come down from heaven to look at it. Wow, you see, kids, they thought that their tower was so great. But to God, that's just a little, tiny little tower. What did God do? Question 7. Let's look at Genesis chapter 11, verse 5. But the Lord, sorry, but when the Lord came down to look at the city and the tower, he said, these people are working together because they all speak the same language. This is just the beginning. Soon, they will be able to do anything they want. Let's go down and confuse them. We will make them speak different languages. And they will be able to understand each other. So God was very angry at them. Use them by making them speak different languages so that they could not understand each other. Kids, imagine everyone was speaking a different language at the time. At this, what are you singing? Kids, can you understand what I just said? The people couldn't understand each other. Can you imagine how hard it is to build the tower now when they could not understand each other? So, they couldn't work together now. Let's look what happened next. So the people had to stop building the city because the Lord confused their language and scattered them all over the world. That's how the city of Babylon got its name. So because they unite to sin against God, God judged them by confusing their language and scattered them so that they could not continue to do anything they wanted. What does this story teach us? This teaches us that the problem of sin is so great. Man continues to sin against God. And it never stops since Adam and Eve to Cain and Abel. And 
last week, we learned that God is so angry with us that He punished sin by creating a flood. But then, even after He was punished by a great flood, man still sinned against God. This time, they unite and work together to sin against God. This problem of sin is so, so real. Kids, we are no different from them. This problem of sin is in us too. We don't want to listen to God. We want to do what we like. That is sin against God. God will punish us one day. Just like how God fills the people's language, stop them from building the tower and scatter them. This problem of sin is so, so great that nothing in this world can solve this problem of sin. That's why we need a Savior to save us from sin. And we thank God that He is a merciful God. He has sent a serpent crusher to stop this problem of sin. Kids, we have come to the end of our lesson today. Let me summarize what we have learned today. 1. Sin is a big problem. Men continue to be sinful. 2. Men unite to sin against God. Instead of listening to God to give Him glory, Men rejected God as king and won glory for themselves. Third, God will always be king. God judged the sinful people by confusing their language and scattered them. Fourth, we too are sinners and we don't want to listen to God. And God will judge us one day. Fifth, we all need a savior. We thank God that He has sent the serpent crusher Jesus to save us from our sins. Let me pray, God. Let us pray. God, this problem of sin is so great. All of us have sinned against you. All of us did not listen to you and have disobeyed you. God, we are sorry. Please forgive us. Help us to obey you. And thank God for sending the serpent crusher Jesus to save us from our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye kids.